Hey guys, <clears throat> this is uh, Nicholas Kreitz from Uzumaki Corp Tattoos. I uh, am a global moderator at www.teachmetotattoo.com slash forum. And we had one of the members on the forum, uh, I think it was Infamous, was having issues with um, sketchy drawings, where um, you do a bunch of sketchy lines instead of straight one pass solid lines and we had a discussion about it how he should be making them flow you know like you do a tattoo because that way the stencil is already set up perfectly to do the tattoo and it gets your hand into that that memory sort of to do the lines a specific way do it all in one pass it gets your gets your wrist used to that motion um, so we're just going to do a really quick rose. What I'm going to be using is Stadler Mars Lumma Graph pencils I'm using a 4H, a 2H, an HB, and possibly an 8B depending on whether or not I feel like adding line weight. But the reason why I picked these pencils is the 4H is extremely light. And I'll use that just to get a basic understanding of the size that I'm going to be doing the tattoo, or the tattoo design I should say. And the 2H is a little darker so you can actually see what you're doing. And then the HB is to do the final the final lines. And then I'd use like a 2B or an 8B to do thick dark lines to add line weight. Now, after you get your actual size for where you're going to be doing your, your rows, then you want to start mapping it out. So this is the middle bulb, let's say, and then you have your, your petals, obviously. And your leaves. This, this step isn't really necessary, it's just an extra step that some people do, I do personally. Just so you can get an understanding of where everything's going to go. And then you start using your 2H and you'd start really mapping out where all your lines are going to be. Here you can still do your regular sketchy lines. You know, it's a, a lot of people find it easier to do sketchy lines rather than perfect straight lines. Because um, this, most of this is going to be either erased or whenever you, if you use tracing paper when you do your tracing, you're obviously not going to trace these lines. The extra lines you'll only going to trace what you need. I hope you guys can actually see this. I can't I can't see what you see. My hand might be blocking it. And then you do your little fat areas. The folds and bow. And then you take your HB, mine's extremely tiny, I don't need a new one, and that's when you start doing a perfect one pass lines. And try not to use your fingers, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually holding, pushing the end up to my, my hand, so I actually can't really use my fingers, it's all in your wrist. And if you want, you can add other details, you know, have some tears, or whatever. Mostly what you're using your light, scratchy lines for is it's mostly just a guide, kind of like a tattoo stencil. Some people even go even further and they'll only do their lines forward like you would do a tattoo. Really, during drawing, it's not really that much of a deal. If you 
do it backwards or forwards. Just do whatever you feel is comfortable for you. do my folds, I try and do them opposite, so this one's on the bottom, top, bottom, so this one will be top, then bottom. And you can either do it all the way down like these, or you can stop halfway. You can go even into even more detail, you know, if you want. You know, the petals little direction lines. I like doing my roses with all these lines. It just gives them a little bit more detail. Kind of makes them pop a little more, and it gives the actual shape of the petal. it properly or however you want to finish the design you can give it even more depth and shape to your petals by just angling your shades getting your color layers proper I tend to not push as hard when doing this just to get uh, thinner lines. That's a quick demonstration on how to do an easy line drawing of a rose in this, in this case. And just to eliminate those scratchy lines, just instead of doing your lines like this, just one fluid motion with your wrist. And today we use Stabler drawing pencils, drawing and sketching pencils. They're about 26 bucks at Staples. They're beautiful pencils you get from 2H to 8B but I use 4H so I bought a 4H separately um, that's pretty much it check out my other uh, pages at facebook.com slash UC tattoos twitter.com slash UC tattoos or my website at www.uctattoos.com it's Nicholas Kreitz from Uzumaki Corp Tattoos